Hello guys. I guess one of the skills that um, we as pike anglers want to learn fairly on is how to make our own traces. This is not because there's anything wrong with ready-made traces, far from it, there are some really good ones out there. Um, but really because often you want to just tweak your traces, make them a bit longer, a bit shorter, maybe fisherman's pop-ups, and just adjust them a little bit to, to suit your own preferences. Um, and one of the main ways of doing that is by using the multi-strand wires. So most ready-made traces are generally on a seven-strand wire. Um, but maybe you want to use a 19 or a 49 strand wire and uh, you have to um, use them slightly differently. So what I'm going to do today is show you how I crimp uh, the wire traces that I use. And I use this, uh, I like twiddling as well, but I use crimping if I'm using the 19 or the 49 strand wires because you can't uh, twist those. So what I do is basically I'll take off probably about two foot, there we go, two foot of the wire. This is the 19 pound uh, sorry, 19 strand, 35 pound. Now a little tip, with the multi-strand wires, you'll often find that the end will unravel a bit um, when you cut it. And one way of reducing that massively is just take a lighter, and just best indoors this rather than outdoors, but if you just heat where you're going to cut, not quite sure what it does, I guess it anneals the wire, but for some reason just get it, there you go, orange hot. Take your cutters and now cut it where you've heated it. And there you go, you get a really nice clean cut with none of that pew, wire strand splaying out. <clears throat> so I haven't cut the wire, the next thing I do is take it about two and a half inches, two inches down from the end, and I'm just going to fold that end over. These wires are quite springy, so it takes a little bit of doing, but there you go, I've just folded that end over and made a little loop in my fingers. Now this works just as well if I'm, if I'm using treble hooks or swivels. I'm going to use a swivel today because there's less chance of me sticking it in my finger while I'm filming. So I'm going to go through the eye of the hook, pull that loop up a bit. So I'll put that loop through the eye and then I'm going to put the swivel through the loop, pull down. There you go. That's not really very neat. So this is the fiddly bit. I'm now going to pull that loop around the eye of the swivel and then just pull it down and neaten it up a little bit fiddly this little job but there you go I've, so now the swivel is actually trapped in the loop of the wire and to be honest I can pull pretty hard on that and I've not even crimped it yet it's not going anywhere so the crimp then is really hasn't got that much pressure on it it's really uh, just for belt and braces really and I use that same technique uh, for twisting as well but we'll cover that in a different video so there you go i've put the crimp on and you're looking for a crimp ideally that you can just get the wire through twice if the crimps are a bit big you can then fold it back and go through a third time but what you don't want is too much slack too much uh, of a gap between the wire and uh, the inside of the crimp it wants to all be fairly tight so there you go i'm going to position that What's that? About two mil, three mil from the the swivel. Take my crimp tool, put that in the recess. I'm using a crimp tool that's got um, almost like teeth in it, um, which puts an uneven pressure on the crimp when you crimp it down, which actually gives you a better hold. Crimp that down nice and hard. And there you go, that's the crimp done. There we are. And that's not going to go anywhere. And people ask, what's the strongest, a crimp or a twist? To be honest, when I've tested them, there's not really a great deal of difference. And I'll take my cutters again. Just going to cut off that tag end. There we go. So that's all nice and neat. And then the final job I like to do, just to neaten things up really, is I'm going to put a swivel cover on. And put that up. And I'll just pull that over the eye and halfway up the barrel of the swivel. Sure it's nice and neat on straight and there we go a nice neat crimp that's really not going to go anywhere like i say if you attach the wire to the swivel like i did with the loop then it's it's pretty much fixed already and then you've just got the crimp in there which really really locks it in place not going anywhere very very simple so give it a go and uh, sooner sooner or later you'll be making your own traces thanks for watching